some acrylic colors, yellow, blue, red, white, and black, as well as pouring medium, a pouring medium and paintbrushes and cups to mix the paint. If you need the exact measurements, you can take a look at the description box below. And I am mixing paint now, that's what you're seeing here, and I'm putting, um, pouring one color on top of the other because we're going to do a dirty pour on the paint right here. As you can see, I already did a previous one, but I messed up, so there you go. Putting some blues and some blacks and using a palette knife to scrape it around. Then I'm using hair dryer to make the cells. And now I'm gonna do the foreground with some greens and red. And I have to mix all these colors myself using um, primary colors and different tints and shades with the black and the white. Okay. So now we're going to do another dirty pour in the foreground for the bottom part of the painting. And as you can see, I'm using painter's tape to keep the top part protected. Just so you know, the painter's tape doesn't really work very well with the acrylic pouring, and I found that out with all the paintings I've done. It works better for just regular acrylic painting. So as you can see, I've taken the paint painter's tape off, and I'm now painting gold in the lines in the foreground to indicate hills. both silver and white for the body of the reindeer or the deer that's in the, the subject of the painting. After that dries, I'm going to put in some details using a Copic pen. Um, this is, I believe, a 0.5 tip. And I go back and forth between a 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and 1 um, Copic pens. And this is to add the finer details, plus um, it was really hard using it on the surface of the painting once it's done due to the different mediums I used in the paint. I also at one point used ink um, for calligraphy, for a calligraphy pen. However, as you can see, it came out too thick and so I decided not to use it and switch back to the Copic markers. My original plan was just to have the deer to be completely white without any details in it. However, due to painter's tape taking up um, some of the paint, I had to add in details because it became more of a blob, so I wanted to fix that.
almost finished painting in there. So if you'd like to see more videos, uh, go ahead and hit the like button down below as well as subscribe button and the little bell on the side so that you always get notified whenever I have new videos. And I post every Wednesday and Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Have a good day. Bye.